It's no secret that Formula 1 is the most exciting to watch when two drivers are in direct competition, but sometimes the tension can get too much, even between two teammates. There have been several iconic rivalries in Formula 1 history. We have selected the best ones for you, which include Verstappen vs Ocon, Nelson Piquet vs Salazar, and more. Hey guys, welcome back to the Max Verstappen Formula 1 channel, the best place for your dose of trending news regarding Formula 1. Before we proceed, hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell for more exciting updates. Now let's take a look at the fights between the drivers. In Mexico 2016, Max Verstappen crossed the line in third place on the Autodromo Hermanos circuit, but when he was waiting for the podium ceremony, he received a 5 second penalty for an illegal action. With only 5 laps to go under pressure from Vettel, Verstappen breaks in the first corner. By cutting a section off, he does stay ahead of him, but his engineer reports that he will probably have to relinquish the spot. Vettel is convinced of that. He has to let me pass, he brags over the onboard radio, followed by a lot of swearing. But Verstappen continues to drive in front of Vettel, who is urged to calm down by his team boss, but this has little effect. When told that a message has been passed on to race director Charlie Whitting, Vettel replies, Here's a message for Charlie, fuck off. The German took recourse against the Dutchman during the exit lap. With his finger, he let it be known that Verstappen had made a mistake. The Dutchman made a gesture that the German should keep quiet. Vettel is a frustrated little man, said Verstappen. This initially caused Verstappen to drop from P3 to P5, but Vettel was also penalized later. Ricardo then became the final number three. He received his prize from the hands of teammate Verstappen, who was on the podium for a while after all. In Sepang 2013, teammates Vettel and Weber had a disagreement, but even before the event, they had endured a fractious relationship as teammates at Red Bull. Vettel was the first star to emerge from Red Bull's in-house driver academy and had already led the team to three consecutive titles from 2010 to 2012. Weber, meanwhile, was an external recruit and lost his chance to score a maiden world championship in 2010 when he threw away a massive points lead by crashing out from the Korean Grand Prix. According to the order, Mark Webber, who was leading the Malaysian Grand Prix, was supposed to finish in P1. Meanwhile, teammate Sebastian Vettel was ordered to maintain second place. But Vettel defied that order with 13 laps to go, passing Webber around the outside of Turn 4 to snatch the victory from the Australian. The podium ceremony was quite subdued. Vettel tried his best not to celebrate an undeserving win. Webber made it a point to ignore his teammate's existence. Later, Webber explained, Whatever his thinking was, when he overtook me, I wasn't so much angry as very sad that the team had reached this sorry state. Christian Horner wasn't too thrilled with the move either. During the 2007 European Grand Prix weekend, there was a massive controversy involving Fernando Alonso and Felipe Massa. The two were caught in a verbal spat while heading to the podium following a late duel at the Nürburgring. The trigger for the two drivers going at each other's throats was a wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing moment between the duo. However, the two got a little too close for comfort on a couple of occasions, and even touched wheels at one point. Luckily for the Spaniard, he held onto the lead to take his 18th career victory. Once the race was over, Alonso claimed that the Brazilian barged into him deliberately, and the latter didn't take too kindly to the accusation. The fuming Massa vehemently denied colliding deliberately with Fernando Alonso and was surprised at the accusation. Things heated up later in the cooldown room. Then, the arguments between Verstappen and Ocon. In 2018, Max Verstappen couldn't hold back his anger after Force India's Esteban Ocon crashed in the Brazilian Grand Prix to deny him victory. After winning in Mexico recently, Verstappen was in fine form, but after trying to unlap himself and colliding with Ocon, Verstappen lost the lead to Hamilton. As Verstappen made his way to the pit lane for the podium ceremony after crossing the finish line, he reacted furiously over the board radio. I hope I can't find him in the paddock. It wasn't much later when Verstappen did run into Ocon on the paddock, and that ended up in a heated argument in which the drivers also got physical. Verstappen was clearly full of adrenaline and went for the confrontation. He pushed Ocon several times with Valtteri Bottas and Brendan Hartley watching. The incident had consequences for both men. Ocon was punished for his mistake on the track and Verstappen for his mistake off the track. The high profile incident in Brazil was discussed a lot in the weeks that followed. Next is the rivalry between Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg. The pair had been best pals during their youth, competing against each other on the kart track and holidaying together off it, but their relationship deteriorated after they were paired together in Formula 1 with the Silver Arrows. In 2014, Hamilton sensationally accused Rosberg of deliberately crashing into him to prove a point during the controversial Belgian Grand Prix. 
The pair touched as Rosberg attempted to overtake Hamilton, which caused the British driver to suffer a puncture and retire from the race. There were a lot of incidents, but there was never a big fight between them. After the relationship between the pair had totally broken down, with Mercedes putting combat rules and sanctions in place to control their drivers, Rosberg retired from Formula 1 shortly after beating Hamilton to the 2016 driver's title. Looking back, Rosberg knows the rivalry with Hamilton was too extreme. Rosberg's retirement came as a shock to the Formula 1 world. Although Hamilton and Rosberg do not share a close relationship as they did during their younger days, the mutual respect between the two still remains. Next, Nelson Piquet vs Alessio Salazar in the German Grand Prix of 1982. In Formula 1 history, this may be the most heated post-race fight. After colliding with Alessio Salazar, Nelson Piquet punched and kicked him. When Piquet was clipped from behind, he flew into a rage after both drivers were removed from the car and separated by stewards. Despite his 36 year history, nothing has really replaced this battle as one of the sport's most iconic fights. After seeing this, the fight between Verstappen and Ocon now seems very tame. Next is the collision between teammates Hamilton and Button. Jensen Button was rammed out of the 2009 Belgian Grand Prix on the first lap. Although Lewis Hamilton and Jensen Button never had a big fight going on at McLaren between 2010 and 2012, there was some tension between the two during that time. In 2009, Button was viewed as foolish when he moved to McLaren, where Hamilton had been number one ahead of Hakiki Kovalainen after winning the title with Braun Grand Prix. Despite Hamilton's charm and on-track success, he became increasingly disappointed with his team because he was so successful. During the 2010 race in Turkey, Lewis was spooked when Jensen momentarily passed him, and the pair collided in Canada the following year, forcing Hamilton to retire as Button won the race. Then, during qualifying for the Belgian Grand Prix in 2012, after being beaten by his teammate, Hamilton tweeted an image of the driver's telemetry, which upset Button and McLaren. The 2016 Chinese Grand Prix was the race where Danik Fiat's nickname, the Torpedo, was born. Sebastian Vettel claimed that the Russian flew past on the inside like a dangerous torpedo. The German became stranded as a result, knocking his teammate Kimi Raikkonen off the track. Vettel went to seek redress after the race. You came in like a torpedo, said Vettel. Kvyat, though, claimed that this was not true because he was, in his words, just racing. Nico Rosberg, who was also present in the cool-down room, was sipping water a little awkwardly from his bottle. From that point forward, Danik Kvyat became Danik the Torpedo Kvyat. During the Hungarian Grand Prix in 2017, Magnussen forced Hülkenberg off the track, and the German was not very happy about that. While the Dane was giving an interview in the square, the German came up to him. Again, the most unsportsmanlike driver, Hülkenberg states as he raised his thumb to Magnussen. The Dane, however, doesn't let his guard down and responds with, suck my balls, honey. In the end, however, Hülkenberg was proven right. Magnussen received another five second penalty after the race. So, what can you say about the arguments and fights between Formula 1 drivers? Let us know in the comments and tell us what you would like to see in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe with a post notification so you don't miss out on Max Verstappen Formula 1. Thank you for watching.